the best of three finals tonight against the winner of this match right here. Ellis Coleman, Bryce Sidoris. And you got Kayla Williams and Marcus Fanot going at it on mat number two now for a spot in the finals later on today. We're underway here, Sidoris and Coleman. Coleman wants his crack at Rayvon Perkins again. Get a little bit of revenge from the U.S. Open last year, but going to have to go through a tough Bryce Sidoris to get there. I don't know if these two have wrestled. Don't believe they have. Didn't wrestle at the U.S. Open. And Ellis actually didn't wrestle at the Dave Schultz as Sidoris did. And uh, Kayla Williams with a big toss over there on Marcus Fanot. Takes an early 4-0 lead. And Sador is going to get hit with the passivity warning here on mat number one. So that'll be a caution now against Sidoris. He gives up position to Coleman. Coleman going to put him down. Coleman has an excellent gut wrench. Great top wrestler. Let's see if he can get anything going. Has it elbow deep. And he's, he's baiting left side with it. Takes it back right. Unable to get anything going. No points on top for Coleman. Back to the feet. Still scoreless. Kayla Williams takes it 8-0 over Marcus Fano. He advances to the finals. At 98 kilos, he will face the winner of Darren Burns and John Wechter. I think that's coming up right after this match. Looks like they're going down to consolation matches over on mat two. These guys still battling. Coleman charging forward, working a two on one. Sidoris has Coleman's head underneath now. Breaking the action back up to the feet. Uh, passivity warning there on Coleman. That's his first. Time will expire. We are scoreless at the end of one. Right back to action spot in the 66 kilo finals on the line against Rayvon Perkins. We've got Bryce Sidoris wrestling for the Marines. He goes arm throw right there. Think they're going four on that. They are. That will be four points Sidoris. It's going to be challenged. Coleman working on top. So that exposure right there is going to be challenged. Thank you. 
So there's a couple options here. A, did Coleman expose? B, was Coleman on his knees before he exposed? So we could have anywhere from a 4 to a 2 to a 0 being scored for Sidoris. And they're going to take a look at the video review. So they're taking a look at the video review board, and I'm pretty sure that Coleman was exposed, but wasn't exactly looking whether or not he was down on his knees before the exposure. I'm thinking it's going to be four points for Sidoris, but that's just off my one look at the move. Alright, so Sidoris wins the challenge. I should say Coleman loses the challenge and gives up a point to Sidoris. So the score is now 5-1. to one. Both these guys ready to get after it. Two and a half minutes to go in the match. And Ellis Coleman has a lot of work to do. The 2012 Olympian in trouble. Coleman also wrestled at the World Championships a year ago. Didn't win the World Team Trials, but was called into action after Harry Lester had to forfeit, or excuse me, pull out of the tournament. So Coleman did wrestle at the World Championships last year. 
He's got the experience under his belt. The new guy on the block, Bryce Sador, is trying to shake things up a bit. Coleman has an over-under body lock. It is locked up. Can he do anything with it? Tries a headlock. And they're awarding two points to Sidoris on that. No slip called. 7-1 lead for Bryce Sidoris. And he gets a turn on Coleman. Had the trap arm. And that's it. 9-1 is the final score. That's a technical fall, 9-1.